Home Solutions tutorial videos. My name is Joseph and I'll be your guide navigating you through all the time clock setup and troubleshooting that needs to be done with our time clocks and time clock software. Let's get started. In today's tutorial, I'll be showing you how to install the Clock Data Manager software. If you are a new customer and this is a completely new install, here's a list of the prerequisites that we require before installing the Clock Data Manager software. At this time, if you need to, you can pause the video and review over these requirements. If you are an existing customer and you are just trying to update your Clock Data Manager, please stop what you're doing. And if you are a new customer doing a fresh new install, you can skip past this part of the video. Okay, if you are an existing customer, please go to Help, go to About, and if your version is before 4.4.7, stop what you're doing and please contact the Time Clocks Department as we will need to take extra actions to get you up to date to the newest and most current version of the Clock Data Manager. Thank you. If you are doing an update to the Clock Data Manager or you need to move the Clock Data Manager to a different server, first you will want to back up your SQL database. If you are a pre-existing customer of ours and you are just wanting to do the update to the Clock Data Manager, you would need to uninstall the software at this time. Okay, now that the software is uninstalled, we will start out by going to the Optimum website. Okay, now this is the login. If you do not have your password, reach out to your support representative and they will get that to you. Also, keep in mind that you will need the admin SQL server username and password before installing the software as that will be needed to be input when we're doing the install. Now at this point you will go to updates and then go down to the clock data manager. And we'll scroll down until you see the orange download. And this is where all of our current new up-to-date versions are. Once your download is finished, you'll need to go back to your downloads, right-click the clock data manager zip file, go to properties, unblock the file, click OK. And you'll need to right-click again and extract all. Okay, at this point, go ahead and open up the Clock Data Manager installer. I want to run the program. Now we'll click next. At this point, this is when you'll want to know your administrator 
SQL Server sign-on. I'll go ahead and enter find mine now. Username and password. Once that's input, we'll go next. Now we can see that our connection to the SQL Server has been successful. Now, if you are a new customer and this is a new Clock Data Manager install, you want to click here and create a new database. Uh, usually, I would prefer that you name it Polling Database or a name that you'd like to put in front of that as long as it says polling that way that you uh, that registers with you that that's where the time clock punches are, are into the polling database but for me uh, if you're just up updating your clock data manager you'll go to upgrade SQL server which I will go find mine now and then we'll click next And now we'll start that install. Okay, now the installation has completed successfully. We'll go finish, minimize all these windows, and it should automatically appear on your desktop. If not, you can type in here in your Windows search and you'll find it right there. Now the default username and password for the Clock Data Manager is gonna be administrator. And the password will be admin. Now, after successfully installing the Clock Data Manager, you first want to check into your setup and go to Globals. In here, we can check to make sure that the clock data manager is pointed to the time and attendance database. That is where your employees will be getting pushed down into the clock data manager to be pushed back out to the clocks. Uh, I'll te and test that connection just to make sure that everything is talking back correctly. And mine's successful. Okay. Now, if you are a pre existing optimum customer and you're just updating your clock data manager you should be able to go into setup go to the clock terminals and all of your existing clocks should be there automatically if you are a new to the clock data manager and our time clock software I will be having a video out shortly of how to check and add the time clocks to the Clock Data Manager. Last step is you will need to set up a task scheduler. So you open up the task scheduler, create a task, You'll want to make sure that you are connecting to the program file star 86, um, especially if you're updating your clock data manager, you'll need to point it to this file.
and you will need to copy from the C to the end of the clock data manager. And you'll put that as your start. And now that unattended should run. That's going to push your punches uh, from SQL over to the optimum software. 